Hello, it's day 165 and I want to talk about weight loss jobs. As a newly minted gym rat, I've been going to the gym five days a week for the past couple months. And one thing I've noticed is it doesn't matter what day of the week I go or what time of day I go, there will always be a ton of people at the gym with their personal trainers. And back before I really started getting serious about fitness, I used to think that personal trainers were kind of just a Hollywood thing, that no normal people would ever hire them because really you would only need them if you needed to like transform your body really quickly for like say a role. But you know, at least at my gym, the handful of personal trainers that frequent the place, they seem to have a really good relationship with all of their clients. I personally have never really felt the need to get a personal trainer, but I can totally see why people would do it. Because like the whole reason I'm doing these videos, for example, is because I didn't have a gym buddy. I didn't have a diet friend to like help me and like egg me on and be like, good job you. And I mean, that's kind of what you're paying for with a personal trainer. Like, yeah, they make you a nutrition plan and yeah, they plan your workouts for you, but they're also a person that you could disappoint. And I know personally that I hate disappointing people. So if there was someone out there who I literally hired to be in my corner, I would feel a little bad if I was like skipping out on my meal plan or, you know, maybe not doing a hundred percent at the gym. And because I'm a weirdo who can't stop thinking about dieting and exercise, it also made me wonder, how many people other than personal trainers would completely lose their livelihoods if suddenly diet culture just collapsed all around us? Like, think about it. If we were all okay with eating, if we all were just suddenly fine with going to the gym, if everybody lost their, like, psychological hang-ups about being healthy, how many people would just lose their job overnight. Not just the personal trainers, the nutritionists, a lot of doctors, a lot of like fashion people, a lot of those multi-level marketing people, most of them in fact. But listening to people with their personal trainers at the gym, listening to those random slices of conversation that like float over to the treadmill section, it does make me wonder if maybe I'm being a little bit too hard on the whole diet culture people. You know, like maybe I'm maybe I'm being a little bit uppity by pretending like, oh, I'm so above it all now. Like there are a lot of people who still do struggle with their diet and their exercise. And if a personal trainer is helping, I don't know, I, I can't really wish ill on people like that, even though they are still really very firmly entrenched in a lot of those like diet culture traps, shall we say. I don't know. I've thought about maybe doing a couple sessions with a personal trainer, just see what they say, just see if they have any other advice, see if they have something different for me other than what I've been doing. Like I'm not stupid enough to think that I know everything at this point, like it might be an interesting thing to do.